Hey guys, we are in Torre Nueva on Costa Tropical in Granada. It's a tiny little uh, village and um, we are here because the queen of social media, Muhammad, the queen, the queen. Okay. <laughs> he found something really cool here on Instagram. So we wanted to come here for, for a few months actually and since we were really nearby, we thought we would come over to have a look. But yeah, we start off by having a cold drink and uh, that actually comes with a free tapas here which is quite normal in the provinces in Andalusia outside the touristy provinces which is mainly the Sol of Malaga. Um, so the guy was so sweet, he came out with a plate of shrimps and so he was vegan and uh, he took it back and came out with some mushrooms for us and then so we really appreciate that. to see that they have this really nice and organized space with changing rooms and toilets, shade. Uh, I haven't seen this in Andalusia before to be honest. Maybe I haven't been to the right places. I think that's around but no I haven't seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> small town but it's really cute it's off season now so it's not that many people around and it's midweek too which means that it's not that many people on the beach either but yeah it's super charming <laughs> and the kids are having fun <laughs> Ayla thank you <laughs> She's fucking off. That was embarrassing. <laughs> There's a nice view here of uh, Torre Nueva Beach. It's, uh, they're building right next to it. Like the building here is just super ugly. <laughs> but it's a statue of the patron saint of Torre Nueva, which is... Santissima Virgen del Carmen. Um, you can show them the statue, even though the background is pretty ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why I wanted to come here. It's actually the first hanging bridge that has ever been built over the Mediterranean in Spain. Just came 
to the scary part with glass floor and I have a little bit of vertigo so let's see how this goes. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> That's so freaky! <laughs> you feel like you, you're standing in nothing. Uh -huh. I'm going over to safety. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging bridge was built as part of a bigger project uh, of connecting the, um, the beaches in Torre Nueva and uh, it was only opened last year, like in May last year, 2022. So yeah, it's only been open for a year and not even a month. And it cost 210,000 euros. To build, not to come here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the hanging bridge down there if you find it's too scary to cross especially the glass part because it's a bit scary especially if you have vertigo it can be really freaky actually we saw a family with a dad that had some jumping kids and he was <laughs> freaked out and i feel so sorry for him because he actually had to cross <laughs> but there is no alternative route so you can walk around here and come up on this side if you if you find it a bit too scary. We had planned to drive to Playa de la Joya which is this pretty damn beautiful beach down here um, instead we found this uh, walk along the coast and we're so close so I think that we're gonna walk all the way down uh, it's so hot we really need to put the dog in water and we need to wet our heads too because it's super super hot down a bit at the beach, got to dip my head in and pull down the hair and the dog has been emerged two times and she's still dry under her, <laughs> under her fur, like she's got so thick fur, it's insane. Anyway, um, uh, the beach is a naturist beach, which means that there's a lot of nudists there, so we didn't want to do any filming on the beach out of respect to the people, of course. Um, but we are not on the same path on the way back now because it's so hot and we would have had to go back up all those hills again. Um, so we're gonna try to walk the main road back, which uh, seemed scary on uh, Google Maps, but when we had a peek at it, it doesn't seem like it's that far. Um, we can walk on the side of the road, so we're gonna try that to get back to the van as soon as possible to get cooled down properly because... <laughs> <laughs> We 
decided to go quickly by a tiny little village called Calanda, which is uh, just a few minutes drive from Torre Nueva. Basically came here just because it's got one of the most beautiful beaches in Granada and I wanted to take some pictures for my blog. But while we're here, why not show it to you guys too? But seriously, the water on the Granada coast is so crystal clear, it's so nice. And the water here is actually really warm compared to the last few days that we've been swimming. Yeah. Yeah. Afterwards, we're gonna go up to that watchtower up there. Yep, I'm gonna show them the watchtower. So stay! Woohoo! Stay! Woohoo! Stay who? What is that? <laughs> Don't, uh, she's enjoying water now, that's why. <laughs> Bellissima! Tower. It's basically, as I've said before in the book, in Laira Dura and also Rute. in Ruta. Uh, they used to put fire on top of them when they saw the enemy come uh, so that they could communicate uh, with other watchtowers and they would all put fire to, to communicate. So uh, I really like to see them along the coast because it tells so much about the history. to the end of the beach by the rocks and we're gonna go and rent a kayak. We checked the other day and it's uh, 12 euros for a paddle board and it's 14 euros for a kayak for two persons but we did want to get paddle board but uh, we weren't allowed to go around the cliffs with two on the same board so we decided to go for the kayak this time but uh, I'm super excited to see how it looks around there because the water is so clear it's supposed to be a cave around there and some secluded beaches so let's go
seriously, this is so amazing. I've actually never kayaked here before, and it's like the whole village has turned into one of our favorite places actually. Crystal clear water, you can see straight down to the bottom of the water, even here, heaps of fish. It's a little paradise, really. What? Yes. <laughs> one secluded beach over there and one there. Going back to the beach with the captain Lynn Hangland. <laughs> Chuma. It's uh, an 18th century castle which is located right next to Kalahonda 
in a little community called uh, Kachuma. Surprising. Um, we haven't discovered the town, but we can to see the castle. Just a short walk along the beach, or you can drive in a few minutes to prepare that. Um, the castle is only open Monday to Friday, so we missed it now. Quite. It's free entry too, which is nice to know. And uh, inside there are some ex uh, exhibitions. It's uh, a permanent exhibition where you, among other things, can see old photographies of Kalahanda and Kachua. And there are some temporary exhibitions as well. Um, the, there's not much to say about the castle really, but it was a defensive castle when it was built to protect against the pirates and the taxes that came from sea and uh, it was in use as a defensive castle for quite a few years. The castle reminds me a lot about Lairadura castle to be honest. And uh, considering it was built in the same time and they also have exhibitions inside, I kind of feel like I'm there. Um, but yeah, I, I really want to go in and explore it. So I hope that we get the chance one day, but not today. It's also a nice beach in front of the castle and I think that we are going to go for a swim with this sea. This watchtower has totally collapsed and it's actually one of the few sites that you can see in Kalahanda that are not nature so except from the castle obviously but uh, yeah it's pretty cool that was it from Torre Nueva and Kalahanda and I hope you enjoyed it see you next vlog